The car market has flipped or has it really collapsed? Collapse means it's not going to go back up. Flipped mean there's been a major change. There has been a major change. While prices steadily rose at an alarming rate, we could say prices skyrocketed on all models and especially for models that were really hot like the Ford Bronco, Ford Maverick, I was worried the Ford Ranger would have this problem as well. Heck, there are even at some points in the last two years, Ford F-150s that were selling way over sticker. Ford Lightning is a great example. Ford actually increased dramatically the price of this vehicle to then reduce the price. And there's some vehicles that just continue to remain too high. So the Jeep you see here, it's not flipped. If you're not getting 10 to 15% off a Jeep or a Dodge, don't buy it. And actually, the manufacturer, Stellantis, with their you know sub-brands, their, their manufacturers, Jeep, Chrysler, Dodge, they're not flipping prices. And as a result, they've got crazy high inventory. So you just got to wait for a better deal from these manufacturers. So we're going to be looking at important data that you need to know so you don't get fooled. And these are your weapons. They're your arms. So you can strong arm a better deal when you go to shop one of these vehicles. So we will talk about the Ford Maverick, the Ford Bronco, Jeep, Dodge, 1500s, 2500s, 3500s, Ford Super Duties, Ford F-150s. So all the models that we love for the most part, no vehicle's perfect. You'll always be angry at a vehicle. I was recently very angry with my Ford F-150 Lightning. And during the upcoming few weeks, I will want to be putting and editing, putting together and editing videos to help make your life with the F-150 so much better. Just to say, vehicles are getting more and more packed with technology. And as a result, it's like when we're trying to work the first laptops. Or if you're a little older, if you remember, I was in charge, you could say, I was the family leader for trying to get the VHS machine working. Those cassettes, those videotapes, when they were new, getting the new VHS player working, that was very stressful, frustrating, but once you knew how they worked, we loved them. Well, the same thing's going down with new vehicles, and the more technology that these vehicles have, the more frustrating it can be. But once you know, I will tell you, once you know how to use the tech, you will love these vehicles. But so much, so such great importance to actually know how to use them. So we'll be covering that. But let's get back to the car market, flip or collapse. Now let's get some proof on whether we are have a car market that is flipping or a car market that is collapsing. And also how to not get fooled, to know what to say and what to do so that you get a great deal when you go to shop one of these vehicles, either new or used, I want you to save thousands. And there's a, those, there are things you should know and there's our thing, there, there are things that you should say to save thousands of dollars. And sometimes you just have to be ready to walk away from a deal because some dealers still are going to be very difficult. I'm hoping to actually build and price an F-150 with you to have time to do that this evening to show you how prices where future prices are going on cer certain models this is actually rather quite scary so for episode episode one let's just talk about how, how the market has either flipped or collapsed we're getting both from a lot of youtube videos this is going to be very factual as we go through this live we're going to be using order guides from four to really see what's going on we're going to be using data of course because we are data driven here Try to be as much as possible, like one of my favorite channels, Car Edge. You can actually read great information or catch them on YouTube. Mix in a little bit of water, because as I said, once I'm schmammered, this episode, folks, is done. And I'll get back to, uh, well, I won't immediately get back to playing dad, obviously, if I'm schmammered. But we got Marie in charge of the new baby. Okay, so let's talk about it. I would say that the car market has flipped. It hasn't collapsed and I don't think it's ever going to collapse because automakers don't just sit on their hind legs and watch Rome burn and not do anything about it. They will not let the entire auto market completely collapse and then see you know a third of the current companies go bankrupt. 
the government might have that impact on car makers in the next 10 years because they either need to get woke or go broke they need to go full ev they need to buy in believe and go wholeheartedly on this idea that we need to reduce co2 otherwise we're all doomed so let's see what that looks like for us when it comes to what's really going on in with the data so i'd say we are not nowhere near a collapsed market and the reason for that is well sales growth we look directly quote from jd power sales growth is being enabled by improving vehicle availability said thomas king president of the data and analytics division at jd power in a statement also they're they're pointing out so reuters is pointing out that despite the nearly six week uaw work st stoppage Retail inventory levels in November are expected to see a 7.5% increase from last month and a 43.7% increase compared with last year. Now, that kind of inventory increase could mean that there is a collapse, but are more vehicles being sold? Yes, uh, prices have come down, and this is why I'm thinking this is more of a flip. Vehicles do not accept to spend over MSRP on any vehicle. That makes no sense, folks. Uh, inventory is piling up. I'm seeing this at dealerships across my city and from watching various YouTube videos. I know that this is pretty pretty much widespread. Uh, widespread. We see it in the data as well. So there's a 1.9% year-on-year decline in transaction prices with an average price of new retail vehicles. And that's because previously last year we had about $47,000 per vehicle. We're now at 45,332. So prices have gone down, but if the market had completely collapsed, prices would be dropping by something much more significant, like 10, 15% for high, for low as well as YouTube Spotter's Guide. Thank you so much for being here. You guys have great information to share with the community. So please, in the comments, do share that information. So Reuters also points out that US new vehicle sales, including retail and non-retail transactions, are estimated to reach 1.23 million units for November. Now that's up 10.2% from a year ago. Sales are up, folks. That's not the sign of a collapse. However, why are prices flipping? They are flipping. Do not accept to pay over MSRP and don't accept to pay even MSRP. You need to either, when you're shopping, see a fantastic interest rate that is promotional. So right now, the current, you could say, bank interest rate on a new is about 8.99%. 7 799 to 8.99%. Anything below 7.99 is essentially an interest rate that is costing the manufacturer money. So they are buying you a better rate. They're offering you a better rate. It costs them money. It's the same as a rebate, unless you're paying cash. Of course, if you're paying cash, wait two more weeks or wait a month. Wait until that manufacturer of the model, specific model you want, has a cash rebate. If you see an interesting rebate, two, three, four percent or less, maybe maybe it's less than two percent, but if you've got this, what seems to be a great interest rate compared to 7.99, anything below 7.99 percent is an interest rate that is being, you could say, bought, paid for by the manufacturer. If you're paying cash, you just need to wait until there is a promotion where the interest rate is, you could say, normal, so 7.99% or above, with a cash rebate from the original price, from the original MSRP, that's manufacturer's suggested retail price. You can find that in all your vehicles, should have a window sticker. Now, I've prepared this show this evening. I'm not just doing this. Most of this is ab lib, you could say. It's uh, not scripted, but the subject matter is planned out the general topics. So a window sticker, look for one of these on the vehicle. You can see from Ford, you'll always have three logos. You'll have one in the top left, in the middle, and down here off to the side, this little one here, I can zoom in on it. Ford Protect down here, you can see it right there. So you're going to have your three logos. If you don't have your three logos, it's a uh, 
it's been made by the dealership. Don't to be very, very weary of now the computer is just playing games with me once until you know how the technology works it can be very frustrating so you can see in 2023 a ford f-150 seventy-five thousand three hundred dollars major changes to that price for 2024 so as you follow along with the episode this live you'll see this get explained more if you're watching this as a mini episode just a small reminder please hit thumbs up share this content with people that could use saving thousands of dollars on a vehicle, uh, you know, unless all your friends just have so much money they love to burn it, then don't share this information with them. But if you care about your friends and you care about a small family business, please share this information, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell notification. Now, I'm gonna get down to the t-shirt. It's getting a little warm here. I'll blame the juice for that. So car prices, truck prices have essentially flipped and that means for certain models paying as msrp could actually be a pretty darn decent deal these are for the hot models so if you get a ford bronco at msrp that's pretty decent do not spend over msrp on a ford bronco plus if you order one now in certain regions you're not going to be waiting you know <laughs> waiting times for up to about two years you shouldn't be waiting two years anymore you might be waiting at certain dealerships that still have a bit of a list one year maybe a little bit more but a lot of dealerships you might get a bronco in four to eight months so why pay more than this number right down here for your ford bronco and that's seventy five thousand canadian is actually a pretty pretty normal number for a bronco that'd be like a well-equipped 2.7 liter bronco badlands if you find one i know ali dubois at her dealership i believe that's in the michigan area they're selling at msrp broncos in my area we have always sold available broncos at msrp and we continue to offer broncos at msrp very tempted to trade in my lightning for it because my lightning hey it's all sorts of new technology it's not programmed the way i would want it programmed i can't change the program and until i get used to it it's like that brand new VHS when they first came out or that brand new laptop or cell phone, smartphone when they first came out. I am so frustrated <laughs> and you will be too. So watch, let me waste my money. Let me be frustrated and turn red in the face and watch the videos that I'm going to be doing on how to use the F-150 Lightning. Because if you know how to use the F-150 from day one, from when you ideally watch the videos before you get it, once you get your F-150 Lightning or really any v new vehicle with those touch screens, if you know how to use the tool, you're not going to be hitting the, thumb, the hammer against your thumb and swearing. That's what this new technology is like. It's like being a youngster who's never used a hammer before and swearing the whole time because they keep missing the nail and keep hitting the thumb on the nail. You got to be careful with giving people instructions. You say, here's a hammer. Now, go hit the nail on the head. Well, this is also a nail. <laughs> so if you don't over-explain things to certain people, they just won't get it and will just be like, hey, you know what? My father's crazy. He told me to go hit the nail with this hammer and it is unbelievably painful and horrible. So I'm going to, you know, go off and believe what I want to believe. And M. Peugeot is in the chat. I guess we can start the show now. So prices have not collapsed, they've flipped. And the F-150 2023 is a good example of that. You can currently get an F-150 either with a promotional interest rate as low as 0.99% interest, or if you're, willing, if you're willing to pay a little more interest, you can get $5,500 off an F-150. That was not the case, definitely not the case two years ago, mind you. The suggested retail price was much less. The big price increase went from 22 into converting to 23s, and there's another upcoming price increase going from 23 to 24. I'd say it is the best time. You get the best deal if you buy, if you want a truck, go out and buy your truck uh, right now. F 150s, great promotions on them. So we'll talk about that in a bit. Now, prices flipping, collapsing. I'd say they're definitely flipping. Got to make sure I go pause that there. Anytime I touch that, it goes off. So prices are flipping. 
They're not collapsing. Yards, yes, yards are full. They're full at the factory. As you can see here, they're also full at the dealership. But this, it becomes a bargaining chip for us buyers. Do expect promotional interest rates or do expect a mix of a promotional interest rate like right now in an F-150. You can look at, at getting 3.99% interest plus a $5,500 rebate. That's the type of deal you should be looking for. The companies that aren't bringing down the prices are playing with fire. They're looking down the barrel of bankruptcy. They could collapse. And right before they collapse, there probably would be some very good prices, but they're not stupid. They're going to you know, some companies, manufacturers are say, saying to themselves, we'll take it to the max, full throttle, and we'll let off the throttle only when we absolutely have to. Very last minute, right before we crash into the wall. Uh, let's talk about that. There are definitely some companies that are doing that, and that's going to lead to episode two. So can just to conclude episode one, prices have not collapsed the car market has not collapsed. People are still buying new vehicles. People are still buying used vehicles. However, do look online at average prices for the used vehicle you're looking at for a little trick to save you thousands on a used vehicle. Be smart about it. Look at the data. Go to websites like Car Edge or Auto Trader that will tell you the average price of the vehicle and don't get fooled. Don't just go from memory and say, hey, you know what? This is a good deal because I saw a vehicle just like this. Let's say you're shopping for a Dodge Ram 1500 or even better, and a used F-150, a 2020 Ford F-150 used. Last summer, early last summer or spring when there is no rebates on the vehicle yet, you're thinking, hey, this it's, you know, two, $3,000 less than when I saw a 2020 Ford F-150 for sale in the month of May. That used vehicle should actually be $5,500 less because the new vehicles, there's now a ton of inventory of new trucks, no matter what brand you're looking at, Dodge, Jeep, Chevrolet, Ford, your Ford F-150 or GMC 1500, Chevrolet 1500, Ram 1500, either between the interest rate or the rebate, the prices on these have dropped by about six to 7,000 dollars compared to pricing back in may now that new pricing does affect the used price this is why when dealers do when manufacturers do you know ten thousand dollar rebates on the new vehicle to draw in buyers maybe they're drawing in new buyers but they're also killing the used price the used value on the trade in so that always bugs me but right now, if you're shopping back in May and you're looking at prices now, do expect those prices to have dropped by a good 15%. You need to see those prices about $7,000 more. And this is why it's important to use Auto Trader or Car Edge. See what the average price online is for the vehicle. Don't just walk, drive into a used lot and accept whatever price you see. You can do that, but have your smartphone with you. Punch in the make model and trim you know the equipment that's in that vehicle and look at vehicles with very similar mileage and shop all over the internet now if you find several several thousand dollars less than the dealer that's right in front of you and you but you like the color or you don't feel like driving all over the place show them say look i've got a black a red a blue this model look it's the same equipment it's about the same mileage you're over, you know, your price, you're asking $3,000 more than them. I'm ready to sign this vehicle now if you bring down the price by $4,000. And that would be make sense because dealerships that are the most competitive when it comes to pricing on of their used vehicle, if they're if they have the best prices online, they're not going to be very negotiable because they already have the best price. They're drawing in people from all over the place. They got all sorts of demand. So if you do get that vehicle you're looking at and you end up getting it $1,000 less than the most, the best price models on the net for the model you're looking at with similar mileage, similar equipment, then you're getting a heck of a deal, a steal of a deal because those dealerships themselves probably wouldn't be very negotiable. 
But the dealer that you're sitting in front of doesn't necessarily know that. And they might just be able to close a deal and not have you walk, drive away to that dealer. Might very well take your offer of $1,000 less. And if they don't, if they just price match, you're still going to be doing pretty decent because generally dealerships that have the most competitive pricing on the net are, are, are either are not negotiable or very negotiable. And those not very negotiable. And the ones that are pretty negotiable end up often being the ones that aren't going to put the maintenance and repairs into the vehicle as they should. You don't want to, you know, finance a vehicle, a used truck for $30,000 and have three to $5,000 to put into it. So do ask to see an inspection sheet and do ask that, you know, not only do you see the inspection sheet, but that they actually do the maintenance and repairs that are required. You can also take it and ask for a second opinion, go to another mechanic and see what needs to be done on the vehicle. And that should be part of your negotiations as well. So that concludes not just how the car market has not collapsed, but it has flipped, but it also covers the section of don't be fooled. That is actually how you shop a used vehicle. And shopping a new vehicle, of course, can be done very much in the same manner. Look online at the manufacturer's build and price website, build the vehicle how you'd like it, and then make sure you're getting the same interest rates as, on, as online advertised and the same rebates. And guess what these days, because dealer lots are full, if you're looking at a model where they've got plenty in stock, you can probably expect to get a nice little present from the dealership because they are going to want to make that metal move because the used market, we're looking at nearly 100 days of inventory for the used market. So smart used dealers are going to follow the principle of buying at the right price. That means if they're smart, if they're advertising their new vehicle at a really great price, you can probably expect them to minimize acquisition mistakes, meaning they're going to offer you the correct price for your trade and not what it was worth last summer, but now what it's worth, you know, 10 to 15% less than what it was worth back in June, where we still had relatively inflate high inflated prices on the used market. They're also going to match pricing to market conditions, meaning they're going to be smart. The new, your trade-in, as well as the vehicle they're trying to sell, they're going to make sure that it is at one of the best prices on the internet because they want to roll over their inventory. They want to move metal because really how to keep a used car dealership alive and thriving these days 50% of your inventory needs to sell within the first 30 days. So it's all about reducing your average inventory age. And that's from Auto Remarketing. Those are fantastic tips. So if you want to catch and read that article, that's Auto Remarketing under the title of A Used Vehicle Market Warning, Tune Up Inventory, Turns, or your toast. And I completely agree with that. So this gentleman knows what he's talking about. Dale Pollock founder of Viato couldn't agree more. So those are tricks if you're a dealer. They're also tricks if you are a shopper. So let's move on to the next subject.